absolutely crazy, but I, I'm also just trying to, at the moment, I'm just doing a lot of Smash learning rather than Terry learning, so. Ah, that makes sense. Uh, doo -doo -doo. But other than that, like, um, do you have any other goals in terms of, like, Smash? Like, going pursuing forwards? Uh, I don't really, I'm not sure what my actual, like, end game goal is, but I've just been trying to crawl to my state PR, basically. That's, like, the easiest thing to point at, so. Yeah, baby steps. That's definitely, yeah. like, definitely a good goal. Like, trying yeah. to get to the top of your, like, leaderboard in terms of, like, um, you know, your PR and your region. Saying, like, hey, I'm mm -hmm. one of the best Aries, you know? It's, like, it looks good on your resume. Whenever you're, like... Yeah, um, if I could just say... Yeah? yeah, if I could just cleanly say I'm best Terry in Georgia, that'd be fine, and then I can go from there. But exactly, there's no hesitation on your mind whenever you're saying that. Yeah. <laughs> right now, it's uh, right now it's hard to say that because there's I might be the best active Terry, but there's a couple of Terrys that were like fringe PR. So I was thinking in my head, if I get to actual PR, then it's like a little bit a little bit more obvious, maybe. Yeah, that's true. But how about you, Shadow? How do you feel? Alright, so... Honestly... I feel like I know Terry pretty well. Like, I know all his combos. I'm decent at recovering. Yeah. But, like, I, I feel like... I just rush in too much and just, like, don't think whenever I'm playing. Like, I'll look at the match after I've played it and I'm just like, what was I thinking? So you Whenever, yeah. Oh, like I fought a Mega Man the other day, just doing mm -hmm. some friendlies, and like I just fell for so much of his just cheese, and that's the main thing I'm trying to learn is just like trying to like no, no, kind of just time. counter cheese, honestly, because I just I'm not very. Uh, good at and <laughs> at uh, asking questions, I don't guess, but uh, yeah, no, I just no mm -hmm. I don't feel like I think that much whenever I'm playing, like. So you feel like okay, no worries, I I'll take over. <laughs> but like, um, <laughs> I, I definitely can see where you're coming from because like uh, a lot of people, whenever they're playing or like watching themselves play, they feel like, what the hell am I doing? What? Why am I doing this option? And why am I getting hit by this option? You know, and it all crumbles down. And it's like, yeah, that's, kind of that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, I know what you mean. Like, you autopilot. That's one of the main things that a lot of, like, players will experience when they're tra transitioning from low level to mid level is identifying that. Because they know it's wrong, but they don't know why it's wrong. If you get what I mean. And, like, yeah. trying to beat out those habits of just, like, doing the same thing over and over again, fe feeling like, okay, this is just what I know, you know, rather than just like being, okay, this is what I want to do. Even though, like, I don't know if it's the right option, you know, it's just good to know when to do it. Yeah. Uh, and that's what this session's about, right? Understanding mm. why we do those options and also like trying to fix those like um, alleviations when playing the game. Yeah. Uh, um, also, mm -hmm. I feel like I don't do like the safest option whenever, like I feel like I just go for stuff that's just like Hail Mary's. completely unsafe. Yeah. 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 I know. I've been there. We all been with there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, with Terry, it's very common. You're like, oh, I had this special move safe. Let me just throw it out. Oh, I got punished on landing for just doing that for no reason. You know it's like laggy, but you know it's gonna just like kill them eventually. So you know how you have to wager the risk reward in terms of those factors, and just focusing more on like um, alleviating that sort of like um, awareness. You know, of just like okay, I know this move is unsafe. I need to learn how to like space around it. What can I do to like? Um, you know, work around that option. Rather than just forcing my way in. Because, like, with Terry, you do not want to do that all the time. 
you want to play off of your opponent's like habits. And like um he does that really well. Cause if you give your opponent way too many like options to punish, it's just like, yeah, you get steamrolled. Mm -hmm. But before this arena closes, um I'm just gonna quickly uh I wanna see one of you guys play me real quick. Could be any of you. Cause usually what I do, if it was a solo like session, I would have did like ten games with you before I get my final ju judgment. But I'm gonna quickly do like a best of three with both of you. And then I'm gonna have you guys play each other. And then afterwards I'm gonna give like more pointers during like the games and seeing why you're losing and giving you like, you know, more in depth about ev evaluation of like why you're like at this level right now and not improving. So I'm just gonna give you gotcha. more options to like add to your play. But I wanna see you just like Normally, right? So I'm just gonna. Hmm. We'll just start with PS2, right? Simple stage, everyone plays on it. Yep. I don't really. Uh, I've been not taking people to PS2, but. Yeah, no worries. I think you play, you play PS2 all the time, yeah. Yeah, you always see it. So it's the most common. You gotta get used to it as Barry. Oh, no, I don't. I, I <laughs> save fans. Nah. I don't care anymore. I'm trying to win now. <laughs> Screw it. <laughs> I can't I'll smash the platform. Mm hmm. I, I thought I want to apply people's platforms on the platform, but oh, otherwise I can't do anything. Yeah, exactly. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, oh. I'm trying to feel. Oh, right. you're feeling out? Oh god. <laughs> yeah, feel. Feel something. <laughs> yeah, it's a bit delayed. Right. It's slightly delayed. Yeah. Well, well, I don't know. Okay, we'll figure it out. I'll yeah, no worries. You'll, you'll feel it out. It will smooth one out sooner or later. I know it feels sluggish, right? I don't. I don't even like online. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. Like, um, even then, it should be like showing how you choose your options, right? Yeah. No, it's yeah. Or, like, it still shows you like it. Yeah, your exactly. base instincts. Yeah. I know that part, which is why I suck at it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Ooh, jumps. Okay. Good evening, roll. Nice. Ah. Uh. Whoa. <laughs> The wolf. Nice, good, good with punish. Good grab. Ah, the roll in. Snuffed out. E. Ah, fair enough. Oh, rolling. Tough. Oh, my God. 
No, nah, no worries, man. It mm. happens. Well, no, I, I feel like I was trying to do certain things and I can't move properly, but it's still like a, it's still a good representation. You, you're still you're doing the same lag, but you're doing fine. Yeah, so. I'm dealing with it. Yeah, it's just like slight yeah. adjustments. So like how well, I, I knew you'd roll that yeah. one. That one time I reacted off to roll, but you down smashed me. I was like, okay, that was I'm slow as shit. Yeah, it's, it's a good call. Um, I can't react to anything. I, I feel like you react to there in general, but... Yeah. Because that means I have to be playing hot to play good, yeah. Exactly. Oh, nice. I was calling out a, um... other option. Hey, fastball. Ever. <laughs> Okay. Oh, extended. Yeah, you couldn't crash it because, um, yeah, you overextended over the ledge. Oh, nice button. Okay. I can't grab the lid. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Ooh, yeah, that's not true. This will be. <laughs> Okay. Let me just like put down some notes real quick okay. before Shadow jumps in now. Yeah, just give me um two minutes. Hold on. Actually, um, it's solid. Let me ask you, how did that feel for you? Other than, like, you know, you know, the game itself? Um, I feel like it was, realistically, I don't think it was terrible. It was just, I think there's a lot of big key interactions that I lost. And, like, that's a big thing with, like, 
Uh, Terry v. Terry is whack, so if one of us gets a little, gets a, get, like, wins a weird trade, like, it, gets, it kind of snowballs weird, but I don't think I was doing that bad. I think the, it's not like I'd win anything, but I think, um, it's good for I'm you. obviously rolling too much. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you're like, you're covering roll a lot more. But people, uh, some people don't cover roll, so I get away with it a lot. Um, so I think I roll too much, especially in the corner. And then, um, uh, that was like probably the main thing. I wasn't really sure. Everything else was kind of like, uh, you're, every, every time you hit a, hit a move, <laughs> you were already like auto canceling out of it, or you already knew, knew that, because you're a lot more smooth with, like, you did forward air at a better timings or something and hitting, do a lot more damage than me, so. Um, yeah, okay. like mixing up time, your aerial timings and were better, and uh, those are probably the two main things. Other than that, it was just like, uh, I don't know. That's the two main things I would think about. But. Yeah, and like, definitely think about those, like, options and why did them, like, in those um, situations. So you can get, like, a understanding of, like, okay, if he's doing this at a specific timing, what should I do to counteract that? Or, like, um, yeah. how can I utilize that in my play? You know? Keeps you mm-hmm. thinking, that theory crafting. You know? Yeah. Yeah, that's good. All right, um, on to Shadow then. <laughs> so I'm really good at like adapting and picking up habits, like in general as a player. But I only developed that because I've been in those scenarios many times before. Okay, let's see. Ooh, almost. Good luck. Alright, how do you deal with this? We punish? Okay, mm. <laughs> one sec. Yeah, that wasn't the great greatest star, but you know.
Hmm, okay. Good luck. Okay. They figured it out. Oop. Nice grab. Nice Good grab, good grab. Fair enough. Mm, interesting rolls. Okay. Let me ask you the age-old question, my friend. What went wrong? <laughs> just, just uh, first game. Pink. Yeah. For, first game, I recovered way too high, like <laughs> twice, and yeah, that ended up killing me and then uh also i just switched to gamecube controller and i missed so many uh track shoots like i ended up turning around uh -huh. and doing power wave like five different times i and thought then, that was uh, the intention like just throwing out power waves just to try and shut down my grounded approach and not like overcoming to like um, hitting me because a lot of times when you went for crack shoot, you got punished. Because it wasn't like established earlier in the game as like um, a, threat a threatening like reversal game, like a, rever like, a threatening like um, tool in neutral. So, like, whenever it came up, it was like kind of obvious. But, um, go ahead. I don't even, I don't even know. <laughs> Cause like, um, from the things I picked up, it was definitely like a case of like, um, you didn't know what to do in certain ranges. And like, um, when you, when you thought you knew something was like, um, punishable, 
you overextend it with like a um, burst option, like a crack shoe, a burn knuckle, or like um, you'd roll in to try and like regain that space that you already lost, right? After doing the move. And like, um, that was just only really in neutral, right? There was like also yeah. stuff in like disadvantage that I did not like that you were doing. Like, um, of course the high recoveries were a big thing, right? Like burning yeah. the double jumps as well. In a certain range, you would always jump at a a mid range, if you know what I mean. So like um, for example, if the ledge was like um like mid, you would always jump above it to try and get around me. Or like in disadvantage when you're like landing above um like a platform or something. On like near like center stage, you would always air dodge down rather than just like neutral air dodging or like um trying to escape that scenario by going to ledge. If you get what I mean. Just trying yeah. to avoid that situation entirely. So I didn't like those sort of aspects of your play when it came to like um that scenario, like of oh I'm in disadvantage, I need to air dodge like here. But you always did it at the exact same time. Like exact same timing, so yeah, I think that's one of the big things I noticed, that you have a timing thing. Like, whenever you play neutral, it's just like, almost the same rep repetition of like, okay, this move, this move, this move, and you don't think about like, um, the repercussions of doing it. That also plays into the, you know, the flowchart slash, like, autopiloting that we've been discussing earlier. Yeah. But, um, what else I was gonna say? Um, some other habits I've been picking up on was you would, you would do a specific, like, um, what? You don't really tech on certain options, and you always tech away, which made it easier for me to just, like, chase you up on it. So there was no real mix up of, okay, is he trying to, like, um, delay his tech? Is he gonna do something else? There was no, like, DI mix-up as well. But, that's fine. Uh, what else did I pick up? I think that's the big major things that I noticed in your play. That you overcommit in neutral, and that, like, um, in disadvantage, you... You basically bite first, rather than just waiting. Waiting to see what I do in response to you recovering. Mm -hmm. But that's fine. Um, but yeah. Those are the big things, anyways. Uh, let me go back to solid real quick, because I left him out for a bit. Sorry, dude. <laughs> no, okay. Yep, no worries. Alright. Um, but yeah, some points from you, I still remember, uh, like, a few of them. But, like, you were really mm -hmm. patient and neutral. Like, surprisingly more neutral than I expected. Because I thought you were going to go all willy-nilly. But you were actually, like, way more patient than just, like, um, waiting outside of my range. Understanding, like, okay, certain options are not good at this range. But you don't know how to, like, um, punish them. Oh, like, when you go in? Yeah. Yeah, I, I'd say only, I'd say about 30% of that is, uh, it, I can't react properly, but... Yeah. yeah, I think because exactly. it is hard. My dis my, if I get hit, my immediate disadvantage isn't good. I think recovery wise is fine, but yeah, like once you once you get hit, you have to real. Basically, sometimes I I do what I do with, to my opponent. Sometimes where if my, if they hit me, sometimes I'm like, okay, let's see how far you can take this, and then obviously you're like taking it farther than I should. Yeah. <laughs> then, uh, <laughs> but because I don't want to jump out of, I don't want to like push a button and get hit harder. But then you didn't let go, so I was like, okay, huh. Yeah. I got hit by crack shoot, and somehow you're still going. Okay. Exactly, I got my momentum. Which is a yeah. really key point that Terry's need to, like, hold on to, is momentum from, like, the initial hits they get, and also trying to read the opponent's, like, intentions after that. Like, are they trying to reset? Are they trying to do a completely different option? Or, like, are they trying to fight back? You know? You yeah. ask yourself... Yeah, because some people do the same thing. Yeah. If they get... If a paddle gets a two nares, they're probably going to up air after, or back air, just those two things, they don't like do anything else, kind of thing. Yeah, just keeping it simple, that's what they do. 
because their character is like very simplified in terms of like um how their yeah. like coverage is in advantage mm-hmm. so they can just like wait for your like air dodge covers multiple options right with like a yeah but if you know they're gonna do two two things it's pretty easy to tell based off their movement so yeah if they're gonna keep it simple like that like just yeah. use the bare bones of their character then of course but Terry, he's not like those characters. He has so many buttons that you have to keep track of. Yeah, that, that's why. Well, I mean, that's why I like. Maybe him, so. I, I, uh, uh, the honest, the more I play him, the, the more I have played him, the more I like him. So, because he's my kind of character. So, uh huh. Where it's like a super read based, super mix up based. Yeah, that's nice. But it's just hard to. Yeah, but it's just hard to do it all at the same time. So, but I, th- I like I said, I think. I was stuck in mid level or like two and two range, or like around that range for like a year or so. So, uh, but then now after I swapped to Terry, I was able to crawl. Now I'm playing the game. So, yeah, that's good. Or trying to. Uh, do 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 do. Actually, oh sorry, I was gonna say something about Shadow's play that I really liked, like um mm-hmm. when he grabs. Like, um, a lot of times, Terry's don't know how to, like, um, deal with pressure, but he kept it simple with just, like, grabbing out a shield. So he wasn't sure, but he knows, like, grab was, like, a punish. And then, after that, that expands on to what else is a punish, right? On, like, certain moves, like, down tilt, right? If I do it really close to you, and I'm, like, trying to go with, like, a simple pressure string of, like, down tilt, down tilt, he knew, like, okay... I can grab here. Because he did it really close to me. It's unsafe. I can get a cap. I can capitalize on that. That's good. But I want it, I want him to think about like how to how do I expand on that? What else can I get off of this? I can get can I get a neg? Can I get a fair punish? You know? And also that also like applies to frame data, but yeah. That's that's just things you're not sure on, but you can just like um feel it out. Let's go into the next game. Nice dash attack. Fair enough. I'm catching on to your tempo. Because since yeah. you like to jump a lot earlier than most people, I was like, okay. He doesn't want to be here for too long, so I'm just going to counteract it. Mm, yeah, that happens. Like, um... I get the, the, yeah? I get the turn around right now. Yeah, that happens. Yeah, no worries. It's like, whenever you try to pivot your, like, um, stick, whenever you're doing, like, a special input in the air, sometimes you'll get a turnaround. Or, like, you haven't charged for too long. So, for example, for the, excuse me, for the crack shoe, right? You'll be holding in the direction for too long, and then it sends you in the other way. Yeah, so yeah. No, that was, uh... Oh! 
Yeah, that was like if I had got the beat reverse on the power wave, um, like that's what I was going for. Because I was, ah. then, I, then I crack shooted, but but since I didn't turn around, then I'm holding the opposite way, so I crack shoot for like out out. So yeah, that makes sense. Also, I noticed you were just... trying to mix up your timing as well with um the roll there, or like trying to change up your options. Yeah, I'm trying to. <laughs> it's hard to do. Uh, yeah. Much else. <laughs> like a key point of that. I was gonna say was that I like how you were mixing it up, but like the problem was you're still doing it at the exact same timing. And the key thing about that is there's no mix up. You wanna know why? Because there's no timing mix up. You're gonna do it at the exact same time, so I'm gonna press the button at the exact same time, you know, to meet you during like those um defensive options. So it's still going in, I'll say please. Yeah. So, like, mixing up your tempo is so crucial in this game, because if you keep doing the same thing at the exact same time, it doesn't even matter if you're, you're doing jump, roll, spark dodge, j um, you know, you name it. Any reversal, basically. You'll still get snuffed out because of, like, the time you're doing it at. So understanding yeah. that mixing up your timing is crucial. And when you do it is even better. Also, just reading what your opponent's, like, intention is. Like, is he still scouting out those jumps, those hops? Or is he, like, trying to scout the rolls? And then just counteracting that. Try to grab? Oh! Good shield. You roll with me? Okay. Interesting option. Ooh. Nice button. Crack shoot. Ah! Okay, nice. Okay. What? Oh, you went too low. <laughs> You're trying to charge, uh, I know. No, I just thought I grabbed the ledge. Oh, you went I didn't react. Did you no, react? I just was. I was looking at you and I thought I would have grabbed. Oh. But I was just too far. Yeah. And by the time I noticed, I just pushed up here. Yeah, you're way too low. Yeah. But yeah, those key points, again, like, mixing up your timing, and also, like, not overextending. Whenever you're, like, um, off stage, like that. Alrighty, let's go into the next game. Oh, good anti. Insane punish. Okay. Ah, uh, too high. Ooh. 
Toe tag? Too much. Nice. Good hop. You wanna jump? Yeah. Everyone wants to escape the corner. Just take your time. Usually jumping is fine as long as you jump away. But like if you jump towards the opponent, it's like yeah, that's just a guaranteed G like Check me scenario. Oh, shield drop. Uh oh. Uh -oh. No, way. no tech? Oh, oh not again. <laughs> yeah, you gotta tech those. Like, you definitely have a game plan going, but like, um. Yeah, it's a bit off. When it comes to like um punishing from mid range, because like whenever you're trying to go for like a power wave, power wave into with punish with like a dash attack or a burn knuckle, it's a bit too slow on the reaction. So that's why I just blow past it. Nice, good, good F top. <laughs> Too close with the fireballs. Nice. Interesting D reverse. Yeah, the Edo's downs don't do much for you. You just put yourself in a worse scenario and put yourself in more lag. When someone's just doing this and just like staying in place. Oh, safe. But that was not safe. Don't panic. Oh, no. <laughs> that's what I was going for. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you gotta hold down for a little bit longer than my friend. Ooh, nice work punish. Oh, what are you gonna do? The power is not gonna do much forever. Ooh, hop. Okay, I was about to say. I've never seen that. Oh, you're dead for this. I think. Oh, almost. What would you do here? Good block. Ah! You actually just shielded it, bro? Okay. I should've just did it again. Ah, uh, no rolling. Good challenge. <laughs> Oh, 
Okay. Uh, uh. Don't roll. Don't roll. I told you not to roll. <laughs> <laughs> Rolling can only get you so far when it comes to, like, getting out of disadvantage. Like, one roll is fine. Free? Okay. Alright, we need to talk about that. <laughs> like, whenever you feel pressured, it's fine to roll, right? To roll back, get some space, get some ground for yourself. But, like, um, if you do it excessively, of course you lose, like, invincibility and stuff, but, like, you have l more lag afterwards. So it's make it makes it so much easier for me to ch just chase you up and just, like, corner you. Because you, all you're doing is putting yourself in the worst scenario, which is cornering yourself. And it's not the greatest place for Terry. Do you think it's better to do, like, rising tackle out of jab-jab, like, every time, honestly? Because, like, you can just escape... I do it almost 100% of the time. I mean, there's cases where you should be doing that, and where you shouldn't. So, for example, like, um, jab-jab, like, rising tackle, is very consistent on, like, people who like to SDI in. And it's, like, really consistent all in general, right? But, like, if they start SDIing out, then it becomes a mix-up, right? A 50-50. Because if they start doing that, well, it's going to whiff. It's actually way better to do it whenever you have someone, like, on a platform or in the corner because it's harder to SDI off of those because there's no space to actually, like, SDI away from it because it covers both. You know, because Terry can drift a little bit as well afterwards whilst doing it. And it's really good for just, like, um, killing off the top. But, like, you need to, like, um, know why you would go for that compared to just going for a power dunk. Because, like, sure, like, um, going for it every single time is fine for a while, but it's going to become stale, right? And you do not want to scale rising tackle because that move will not kill for a long time. Hmm. Same with power dunk, but, like, that's why you mix it up, right? You mix it up so you can unstale your moves. And also, like, Power Dunk is actually really useful because it actually beats out the SDI away. Because it catches them rolling because they're buffering something. And also, like, sometimes if you delay it, if you delay your hits, it actually catches it. Catches the SDI, so it's, like, really good for that. Yeah, you do slow jabs. Yeah, like, delayed jabs. Like, do you know how to do that? Yeah. Yeah, just by tapping the button? Mm -hmm. Rather than just, like, holding it? Yeah. This makes the timing way harder for the opponent to just, like, um, mash on it. Okay, I'm gonna do one more rotation, and then I'm just gonna, like, go more in-depth, like, talking about, like, different points of how to improve with Terry. And, like, showing you, like, different ways of using this kit. And giving you a whole new game plan to work with. Because, like, some of them is pretty good. Like, some aspects. But, like, um, some of them are just, like, really, really bad to hold on to. Good jump. Oh, nice to fly away. Ooh, okay. Fair enough. Ooh, that was very close. <laughs> <laughs> we did the same thing. We had the same, yeah, we had the same idea. I just didn't think. I thought you were double jumping. Oh, whoa. Oh, did not want to do that. Yeah, yeah that's it. Get us guide out. Roll. Yeah, 
can't move. Okay. Uh, Good. Oh, this is gonna be you. Oh no, damage. Yeah, yeah, no jump. I. Uh, you gotta be more uh, aware when it comes to like disadvantage when you. Oh no, I. I keep just messing up what I want to do off level. Yeah, that's the. That's what I mean. Like, just being aware of just like okay, I might mess this up. Go for something more simple. Just yeah, like, I went for. Mm -hmm. well, that's good. I sh I should have just uh, I think something ate my power dunk input. I was gonna do heavy power dunk, and then um. Yeah, if you're unsure about that, just. I, I should have just done heavy like non inputted. I could just hit hold down hold down, but I try to go for the input. I I think I, I think it thought I was trying to do another bird knuckle. Yeah. And then I was like, oh. Like again. By the time I. Yeah. Well, I, yeah, it's like you said, you go for something that's like it's not gonna mess up. Yeah. Yeah. That's, but that's why I like to do though. Like the, that's why I like doing like reverse aerial power waves. It's just like fun. Yeah, I get that. And it does okay. that, and it sets up for like so no. many scenarios. Oh, oh snap! I'm getting bomboed. Oh, can't react. Good challenge. But. Yeah, that is that. Good sir. Uh, good add -ons. Oh, I think you're dead. Oh, no. It would have been a good add -ons. It's a bridge. Yeah. It's, a, it's kind of a silly frame trap. Yes. Hey, back at the... Oh, you're dead. I'm dead. Yeah. Uh, the peak. So, like, what do you think you did wrong in that scenario? Like, that last interaction? Oh, I'm just matching side B because it's usually safe and nobody goes out there. <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> it's, like, one of your quickest special moves whenever you're coming from, like, um, disadvantage. But, like, the problem is, I know, like, a lot of, like, Terry players, they don't know why they're, like, losing off stage whenever they're, like, going for their options, right? They feel like, okay, I need to get back yeah. to stage, but if I don't do this option, well, I, I have to go low, right? And I die. But that's how you have yeah, to, I like, don't, choose. You have to choose. Between... I don't have to go I can go low against Terry, yeah. Yeah, or that's up. when you have to choose. You're probably not going to hit. Yeah, like, there's kind of hard to hit, so you're probably not going to. The risk reward's probably I fine. I'm gonna punish this character hard. No worries. Yeah, yeah, I'm just saying, like, would I rather, like, yeah. test your skills on laggy ass Wi Fi or go go medium and get punished or high and get punished? I, I'd rather, like, make you fuck up or make you yeah, mi beat me or mix something. It up, yeah. yeah. But, like, um, just choosing your options too early. So, there's, like, um, a story I have, right? I tell this to everyone. It's basically called The Hunter and the Wolf. And basically how it works is the hunter corners the wolf in the corner and basically he's trapped. The wolf cannot, like, get out of there. The wolf is smart. It knows that if it basically shoots, not, not shoots, but, like, basically, like, dashes in, tries to punish, like, tries to bite too quickly, it knows it's going to get shot, blasted. So what it does, it waits. It waits for the hunter to move into position to kill it, or like to shoot it, and it, then it strikes, right? At the right possible time. Because mm. remember, you're, at, you're in a disadvantage. You want to try and shift that disadvantage into your favor. So that's why it's good for timing. Again, just mixing up the timing and when you do your moves. Because sometimes it's better to just like... um actually hit the opponent before they actually come down to hit you. So, like, if it was, like, a pyro down, down air or, like, a falcon down air, you know, where they try and two-frame you. 
Sometimes it's just better to just hit them outright before they even like hit you. Depends on what range you're at, yeah. Yeah, depending on what range you're at. And like when you use your special move. Sometimes it's just way better to just use your grip. In comparison to just like doing special move into another special move into recovery. You're yeah, the all cadence. Resources, the same, yeah. Doing all these extra yeah. resources, resources just to end the same way, you know? So it's good to mix it up. Good to mix up the options you do, when you do them, and also like how you do them. Because there's always like a specific way you have to do like um, your recoveries just to get back. I'm like one of the best yeah. cherry players in the world at doing that. That's why I don't die off stage too often. Unless I like condition myself into putting myself in that scenario. Or like my opponent's just really good at covering the target recovery. But yeah. Well the recover the disadvantage is also mixed up, so. Yeah. The, the entire character is mixed up. Because it's all like insane risk reward character. Mm-hmm. Good challenge. First challenge I ever seen. Ooh, watch out, you lost your jump. Feel comfortable? Okay. Yeah, you're rolling too much, man. Put yourself in the corner. No. <laughs> Denied. Access not granted. Maybe he let's go. <laughs> he wanted to check on me. He wanted to see if I was okay. I was like, hey, I'm, gr I'm gladly fine. grab oh no you're getting baited now be careful oh roll back into the corner hmm I don't know about that chief like rolling back into the corner when you're already cornered is not a good option Alright. Oh, I should have punished you harder. But that's fine. Alright. Oh, you're still using power waves. Mm -mm. Good challenge. Good challenge. No. Ah, uh, yeah, that's a frame trap. So whenever you see that move, you want to roll. You want to get out of that situation. So like, whenever like um you see someone jumping at you, and you, and you know the button's safe, you need to just like get out of that. Either run past it or just like um, roll, just so you can reposition and just like get out of that scenario. Because you're still using like powers to try and like get away from that scenario or like um, to stop the fireball. But I already closed that distance, and fireballs from that range are not safe. Like powers are not safe at that range. Good challenge. Yeah, see what I mean? Because I closed the distance already. There's no reason to use a fireball. Ooh, Ooh damage. Good parry. Parry to power wave, interesting. Good grab. What you gonna do? Oh, that's a missing pit from me. Uh oh. Woo! Good 
Yeah, had a reset. It's a cheeky little reset for the Gauntlets. Oh. Don't roll. Oh, you're grabbing too much, my friend. Good, good challenge, good challenge. Mm. Nice. Alright, we gotta be careful. How are you killing me here? Ah! Almost. Ah! Oh, this might be a problem. You gotta get down. You're rolling, okay. Alright. Uh, yeah. Like, I've noticed, like, you still have a rolling habit. In terms of, like, um... In disadvantage, you always roll and try and chase me. Like, you react to the move... Ugh, excuse me. You react to the movement, and then you try and chase up on it. And try to reversal me. Which works for a few, like, few interactions, but then I caught onto it way too often so I think for you I think it's focusing on not rolling not rolling as much as you should and thinking like okay has my opponent figured out that I can roll in and punish them for like laggy moves or something right are they aware of that that's sh that should be the answer well Searching for the answer, basically. You should be looking for, like, any of those, like, interactions. Okay, I'm gonna yeah. stop that and, and one second. I, mm -hmm. I, I grabbed way too much, like, out of shield. Like, I I always forget that, like, Nair is really good out of shield. Yeah, it's pretty busted. Um, There's also, like, right and tackling stuff as well. But I want to see you guys play for a second. So I can add more notes that I might not see just by playing you guys. <laughs> okay. Take it easy, Shadow. Right and tackle, yeah. Yeah, you need to stop rolling in. Stop rolling in from the corner. Just wait, just take your time, just shield. Crack you? Hey. Oh, wait, hey. oh, yeah, make him respect the waves. Make him respect the waves. <laughs> Go 
Sorry, you need to just show hop. I'm trying. <laughs> show hop and then nair instead. Because it hurt box shifts and it makes it easier for you to escape. Or like avoid like the follow up. Ooh. Be careful. Good grab. Ooh. Punish? You're rolling too much? Just hold your ground, hold your ground. Good punish. Shadow, don't put yourself in the corner. Don't put yourself in the corner. Otherwise, you get punished like this. You don't want to be there. Try and hold center stage. Good rising for there. E. Okay. Woo! That was a nice scoop. That was a nice scoop. Amazing call out. Yeah, like, you gotta be very cautious of your high recoveries again. It's been getting you killed, like, ever ever since the start of the session. <laughs> <laughs> like, instead of just immediately going for your special move, you should, like, try and fade back. Fade back and wait. Stay disciplined when it comes to, like, um, your disadvantage. Because otherwise, it feels, like, very hectic to get back down. When it should be, like... So simple. It's not easy, but it's pretty simple. It's it's broken. What? That move's ridiculous. It's like one of our best whiff punishing tools. It's I think it's one of his best smash attacks. Yeah, it has so many purposes. Like, it's one of our best whiff punishing tools, in neutral, has really good priority, comes out really fast, you know, it's one of our fastest in neutral tools. And it's good at just, like, um, calling out box. So, like, whenever someone's, like, dashing in, you can just, like, dash back, like, twice, and then you can just, like, punish it with a down smash. So it sends out a really good angle. Ooh, nice, nice pull out. Yep, good jump. Good reaction. Yep. Ooh, almost. If you waited a little bit longer, you would have caught him. Yeah, you don't want to play too timing based in terms of like on um, your play, because otherwise you get blown up. You should give yourself that space, because what I'm watching right now is not, you're not giving yourself that space to actually play that reaction base, either way. Because, like, I play a mix of, like, reaction and also, like, you know, proactive play, you know? So I'm giving that space to actually react and punish. Because if you don't have enough space, well... You might as well just be like in the corner. Oh, nice roll. Grab. What, what are you going to do now? Shadow, when you get a grab and you throw them up, you want to try and chase their landing with something safe. Like a down tilt. Like an easy check. Oh, okay. Almost. 
Chase the landing. All right, that's, that's a way to cover it. Nice. Good. Hold that center stage. Nice. Uh oh. Good roll. Don't use power wave. Don't use power wave when he's really close to you. Just use your other tools. Like F tool. Good grab. Uh oh. Just hold shield. Just hold shield. It's fine. Uh oh. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, you got punished again for trying to grab out a shield. He spaced it and then F smash just like with punished you. Would that be down smash to F smash? Or like in general? I know the kill part I could just. What, in terms of, like, um, well, it depends. It really depends how laggy the move is. But in general, just, like, down smash is just way, way superior because of the speed it comes out on, how much it covers in a short amount of frames, and you can come off of it from, like, down tilt, uh, power wave, and, like, fair sometimes at, like, lower percents. Hmm. I have the two, like, that I forward smash one. Uh huh. I have smash more, but you bounce back. It's fine. Smash, so. It's fine to use yeah. it. It's just like um really bad when it comes to like its active frames. Yeah. Oh yeah. I have to. I have to look at that. It's kind of dog on shield. I'm just a whip. I just dash back and smash and then switch it up to like. Yeah. If you can catch their landing and it's like really yeah. laggy, then sure, go have at it. But like. The problem with going for F-Smashes in most scenarios is because it develops bad habits of like, okay, I can punish it with anything, right? I can punish these, like, really laggy moves with anything. Yeah. I can punish gimmicky stuff, but like, in general, just use Down Smash. Low profiles, it's really good. Yeah, it's 10 frames faster, so. Yeah, exactly. Uh, you can go for one more, and then I'll, like... Go into the nitty gritty of Terry. Actually, I'm gonna go get a drink, so I'll be right back real quick. Hold on. Beep. Okay, I'm back. Be patient, be patient. Look for the roll, scout the rolls out. Nice get up attack. Nice reset. Be patient in the corner. Give him space to breathe. Give him space to breathe, and then punish whatever he does. Oh, okay, almost. You had the idea. Yeah, scout the roll. Nah, you can't knee him like that. If you expect him to neutral get up, just like, oh. Space yourself outside of the range so you can just like um, punish it. Wait, does Jeff have jump or no? Yeah, it does. Okay. But it's kind of a timing thing sometimes. Like, yeah, space yourself. Mm hmm. And also, like, yeah, that hair box as well. 
Okay, tech chase. Oh, too soon, too soon. Okay. Nice. Good scout on the roll. Down throw. Nice, good. Yes, nice using the bone knuckle. Tackle. Good hop. Good hop. Mm hmm. Good with punish. Oh, almost. Yeah. You need to mix up your shield pressure, because he's not biting. That's it? Okay. Uh, let me, uh, hop in. Let me hop in. So I can, like, show off some stuff. So definitely a good showcase. Okie dokie. Oh, uh, do 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 do. So I'll I'll talk about um Terry's kit and like how to like utilize it to the fullest. So we'll go like from like grounded normals into aerials into his special moves afterwards and try to like what the applications and how to use them effectively, right? So we'll start very simply with Jab. Jab is very, very much an active button. 30 frames, minus six on sh shield, so it's really, really safe to just like throw out in neutral. Um, the actual hitbox for it is actually really, um, really small. So it only covers like, um, it's not actually where the fist is. So you know, like where he's punching, it's actually below it. So like, um, it's not designed to like catch jumps. It can catch preemptive jumps. So like if you try to jump out of shield for me. So shield, and then try and jump after jab two. Oh no no. After jab on um, down tilt, okay? Oh, uh give it a second. No worries. Um just wait for your shield to come back. Well, you tried to jump, but, like, um, I straight attacked you with the jab, too. But, like, um, basically, if you try to jump afterwards, you get scouted by the jab one. If the opponent tries to jump. So that's why it, it's designed like that. It has really good, like, horizontal range, right? So it's, like, really good for, like, um, just catching, like, um, rolls, especially, because, like, um, it's horizontal coverage. So you can, just, like, roll for me after the down tilt. Why roll towards me? Oh, sorry, my my reactions are bad. There we go. It catches the rolls, so it's really good at that. You have to walk a little bit when you get that cover roll, the down tilt roll, or what? Um, you can do that with down tilt as well, but like um, with jab, you can just like hold it, but you can micro space oh, yeah. it as well, like do this, like slowly. Well, well sometimes the uh, I feel like. They'll roll behind and it outspaces you a little bit. So that's yeah, awesome. that's just like character dependent. So like usually certain characters will have like really long rolls. So like um, normal rolls are like um, like where he is right now. Like about oh, excuse me, like where he is right now. So like if I rolled from here, I'll be where he is now. But really extreme rolls like Rosa or like We Fit, they're all the way over here. Literally past the plat, like the the plat, like the fucking platform, basically. <laughs> and 
and it's like um very jarring when it, you're trying to ledge trap. So that's why this tool is really good for like um catching those rolls. So like it's a really good check in neutral in that sense. Like it's good to just like um throw it out and just see like okay, what did he do afterwards? Yep. Um it also has very good like movement capabilities with it. So you might have been seeing me like um slide around the stage with like um the jabs. Like I was doing like stuff like this. Like if you do it like really frame perfect, you can literally like slide across the whole stage. It's like a wave dash backwards. And you could like um convert it into your special moves. And that's done by um basically when you're running, initiating your run, your running animation. Basically, Terry turn, turns towards the camera. You can see him, like, look at the camera for a split second. If you can see it, like, his hat looks towards you for, like, a split second before he, like, runs the other direction. Like, you see it? Yeah. Yeah. So, it's, it's basically canceling that animation into a jab, which is like a dash cancel, basically. Your dash canceling out of your jab, like, and it's and it creates this sliding effect, which basically like covers roll distance. So remember what I told you about like Rosa and all that, like Pacific stuff. Like your down tilt ain't covering that. Your jab is definitely covering it because it puts you in the right position to set up for like leg trapping, right? It's like okay, check. Oh, did it hit? Okay, cool. You're one of your easiest kick confirms. But it also can be your um, worst hit confirm sometimes. Um, s some other aspects you might want to know about it is basically whenever you're like um, hitting your opponent, if you didn't notice, um, sometimes, look at this. It sucks them in. You notice that? Look. Look. So this is a normal jab. He, he doesn't flinch, right? He's like, ow, okay. But then when I do a like a further away jab, so a tipper, this is what happens. It drags them in. This is called a chip tipper jab. It sucks them back in. And it's like really plus, if you didn't know. Like, this has extreme plus frames. So you can convert into like a lot of things off of this. Especially if they're like airborne when you hit, hit confirming from air. Both jab one and jab um three have it. Not jab three, excuse me. Jab two. Yeah, do you think do you think that one tipper jab combo is is like super viable with like the You mean the, the one that does there? this? Yeah, um, yeah. It's, it's very specific. Bit, it's very specific. Yeah, it's a little specific though. And it's also like um really hard to time. So I think it's like more like um you know, it's not for really so for intermediates. On shield? No, I'm saying if someone if you break their shield, you're not going for that. You don't need that. Um you can, but like um you're better off going for more damaging stuff. But this can also like be a good frame trap. It's a good frame trapping tool. But a high percent you can go for like a lot of things from like tip of jab. Because it's like normally it's only like plus like um plus four. Plus four. Like this chip of jab. But if you if you don't get a tipper, this is like minus six, so you gotta be very careful. So like um because it's plus four, this means I can go for stuff like this. Oh I was trying to cancel off of him. Oh, that's why we're in the Yeah. So we're still on the tipper jab. Cause like you can go for this. Well, it pops in way too high. The down tilt the down tilt. But you could like suck him in and then bare knuckle hit scene. Oh, okay. So if I ever if that ever doesn't work with super bad, I'm getting the close Yeah, you didn't yeah, you didn't space it. Because I've been experimenting with uh jab or knuckles. Um obviously sometimes I do it, sometimes I don't. Yeah. Okay, so it, it's based off the shape. I knew the tip or hitbox was crazy, but I didn't I didn't think that was I didn't think it was that different than the like Yeah, it's like, completely different. In terms of like yeah. hit confirming. That's why it's really good to know for that. advantage state. Yeah, I just look at ultimate frame data, and I don't think it's that specific. 
Yeah, it is not telling you about like those secret hitboxes and such. Or, like the different frame data because you got you gotta look on like the Smash calculator, which basically calculates like rage and all that, and it adds up to um you know those plus frames which you get from those hits. But yeah, like um definitely one of your best tools when it comes to like um stage control. Like this move is basically used for like almost every part of your kit. It's a really good shield pressure tool because there's also another technique that you can do on shield, which is um crouching like crouch canceling it. And this will allow you to keep doing um jab whilst hitting someone. Instead of like getting jab two, like this. Like this. Yeah, I'm crouching like frame one. Like straight after like the first jab. And then rinse repeat, rinse repeat until like it becomes faster like that. Oh, that's how you that's how you get jab down tilt doesn't matter. Yeah, you get like jab into down tilt like that. Yeah. Like that. That's how you do it all the time. Yeah, like yeah. down tilt jab, down tilt jab, down tilt jab like that. And it sucks him back yeah. in. If I get the timing like well. Yeah, if I get the tip as well. And it's like, very hard to time! That's all I'm gonna say. This, is, this can be very hard to do. Like, consistently. Yeah, that's why it's like, um, an execution thing. But, all you need to know about that is basically, it's a really good button to just throw out. But anyways, um, moving on to Jab 2. This is your extension from Jab 1. It has more lag than just whipping like, um, Jab 1. As you see, you have to commit to it. So this is used more for like um, hit confirming, of course. If you're not going to be using this much in neutral, mostly just going to be catching like um, disadvantages, like rolls, because like you know, like from here, it's, it's not hitting anyone, but it's going to suck them in with um, from this range. See. And that does the tip of jab as well. This is also really plus because you can just go into that. Like barnacle and stuff. So that's why it's really good to know the spacing of like um when you're going for those. And it's, that's why I say delay your jabs. Because if they're SDIing, so like um hit me, hit me with um jab one into jab two, okay? Do it again? Like this, let's see. Do it one more time. See, I SDI would away. So if you try to do power dunk now, oh, excuse me. Let me try that again. See, I shielded it. That's only because he he didn't delay it. Now, if you delay it, do the delay. Oh, almost. It's like, one, two, three, yeah, there you go. It's like, so if I did it to you, you you'll notice the timing. It's like this. Like that. One, two, three. One, two, three. It's like slight delay. Not, not holding like this. It's like slight delay, like that. Doosh, do doosh. So this is hold. Yeah. It does happen. It does happen. Because that's yeah, extreme SDI. Yeah, my, uh, my friend loves playing with Sage. So they SDI him. Yeah. I was playing like really goofy ways of keeping him in with like light power down to it. It's maybe jab light power down to light power to maybe jab or something. Or like fast jab or whatever. Mm hmm. But yeah, like, um, it's basically like combo filler, or like for block strings. But like, um, usually you don't want to really throw this out all too much when it comes to like, um, your block strings. Because once you commit to this, you're, you're minus 18. Which means you can get like rising tackle. So do you jab one, two, three? Or jab? See? 
there's a huge gap in between. So, like, you need to be, like, on point with your, like, pressure. Uh, let's say my, let's say your opponent's shielding javelin jab two. Yeah. Do you just sw do you just swap the down tilt or something, or do you sometimes I just jab three and pray, or, or do you do special? Or sometimes I'll make them jab three. Or, these my if I ever jab three is either intentional, trying to like pray they let go shield at a super time, or is that yeah, yeah. Yeah. So like um with shield pressure, if you want to go into that, basically whenever you're doing it, when you commit to jab two. You, the only options you have is basically jab free, special cancel, and that's it, basically. That's your turn over. That's why you don't want to commit to this unless you have them at really low percent of, like, shield. That's why you don't do it when you're, like, um, when the opponent's shield's, like, really high because, well, you get punished. And also this happens. So, um, do jab, jab, power dunk. I messed up. Because I was trying to time it. Sorry. Oh, I should have did rising tackle. Ah! Sorry. My shield. Ugh. And you see, like, it can get, be blown past. Because he's doing the heavy version, that's a good counterplay. But I was trying to punish, like, the light version of it. This oh. version. You know. Because that's the one you use for, like, um, tie-up block strings. Because heavy is good for catching, like, people who jump away as well. But this is really good for catching short hops, which is the most common. But yeah, like, um, on that point as well, right, with the down tilt, you can add that to your layer of, like, um, pressure, but of course you have to space it, right? And also, like, um, whenever you're going for your, like, um, jab two, you gotta, like, know that, okay, if I'm committing to jab two, it's either gonna shield poke them, or it's gonna actually just, like, um, blow them up. For their reversal, right? So, like, um, if you have to commit to a jab too, it would have to be like shield, shield me. It would be like this, right? You, you commit, yeah. It has to be like already chipped away at fifty percent. So F two already does that for you. So F two yeah. already sets that up for you. Mm -hmm. Um, I guess maybe it's something I try to do is maybe a little too much of a. Early in sets, I kind of go for different. I kind of like don't auto cancel, like don't special cancel as often. Just try to or I grab a lot more often. Just try to get them to like do these different shield habits. Because later on, I want them to like if I ever hit a shield, if they ever like start thinking I'm gonna stop the hitting buttons, maybe they'll I'll get through with something. Is that like something that's worth it, or is that like too? You gotta condition that. Problem? You gotta start like understanding like okay, the conditioning aspect of that because. If you want them to do something specific, you have to condition it out of them. They're not going to do it automatically. That's what I mean. Like, sometimes yeah. I'll jab two and then stop, and then, and then I'll grab them, and then they're like, okay, I, I see that he does that jab two for a couple of minutes. Yeah, they'll I'm just go for a wrestle, right? They'll just, like, punish yeah, you out of shit. Yeah. Is, that, is that specifically worth it? Is that exact interaction worth it? Or should I try to, like, other interactions? Is it too unsafe to jab, to jab two? Well, you can try yeah, diff yeah. different avenues, of course, but, like, if you're committing to the jab two setup, you would want to go for, like, something that will catch their, like, mash, basically. Catch their button afterwards. So, like, um, if it, if he was grabbing me, right, after jab two. Alright, go for it. Go for, um, oh, sorry. Do it again. Uh, shield, shield until jab two and then try, try and grab me. See that? Okay. If I tried to do that, what you was explaining, right? Wait. Wait for my timing, of course. <laughs> But, like, um, whenever, like, um, you're going for jab two, right? Like this. Shield for me. And he grabs, like that. You're like, okay, cool. 
If he's grabbing me at that point, I'm gonna go for power now. You should be yeah. able to just like um frame trap them basically. So do it again. Ah, too early. I was trying to just delay it. Okay, I'm gonna mash it now. Well, it beats that, but like yeah. If I delay it, boom, beats out the grab. You can even do it with the jab delays. If I know he's gonna do that. Is jab crack shoe worth it? Um, it it's good. It's good for like um, for the most part against characters you don't really have a good out of shield game, or like don't know how to punish it. So like, if he shields, how does he punish this? Okay, shield. Like this. How's he gonna punish this? Yeah, I've been trying. To, I've been doing that a little more, and I don't know if it's like thought out yet. So it's, it's fine. It works, but it's, I'm, I'm damn cute on their shield. I'm gonna lose. Yeah, or this is like your safest option. This is yeah, one of your safest away, gimmicky yeah. options to get away from them whenever you want to reset. But the problem is, sometimes if they go... Wait, do it? Do it for me again? Do, um, wait. Oh, sorry. Sometimes your opponent can, like, um, chase up on it if they have a fast out of shield. Or, like, a fast, like, um, drop shield, punish with dash attack, like, two link or something. They can actually just, like, punish you on that, so you got to be very wary of how you use it. But like how you yeah, want to cross them up. I, yeah, I was just saying like, because sometimes they, I, I can't run away, and so a lot of times they'll, they'll chase the power of the way. Like, yeah, like, I know. Like, Every, extra oh, sorry. Fractured and it's maybe a little more difficult. But. Yeah, that's why do you only want to do this to reset on the platform like this. Yeah, I love on the platform. Yeah, just going on the platform it's because it's much safer. And also the light one's way safer by the way. It is true, it is pseudo true, but you have to get the tip of jabs, that's why it works sometimes, or like, it catches people mashing on hit, or even on like, shield. But on shield, like, basically it's a mix up of like, okay, I'm gonna cross you up, or like, oh, I'm gonna be from here, okay, do it, it's like, okay, boom boom, okay, how are you gonna punish this? If you try to punish me, so like, try and run up, grab me like this, Afterwards, okay. Let me do it. Boom. They get me like punished by um invincible button. So that's why it's like really hard to chase up on that move. But like faster like punishes will catch that. So if you did that to me, look, it wouldn't be fast enough. I would have to like um basically try and dash attack or something. So do it again. Nah, <laughs> no worries. Give it a second. Oh, bro. Yeah, there we go. So that's why you gotta be very careful on how you do it. And also, what version you go for. Because if you didn't know, like, all of the special moves have different properties. Not only just like, oh yeah, he has more invincibility if he holds it, or oh, if he has a rising tackle, he can go even further, or something like that. Nothing trivial like that. It's actually more specific. So like, um, for example, if I was going for, like, uh, Barnacle, right? You see, like, the light version? I can act out of it, like, instantly. See? Even before I touch the ground. Has invincibility as well, really good hitbox, and it's like a really good mix-up tool whenever you're like approaching, because you can go for rising nares from it, rising fares, like that. Really low-angled like set play options. But if you have to go for like heavy brown knuckle, look at this. I can't shield for a long time. Look at that. Look how long I have to wait until I hit the ground and I'm able to shield. Nowhere near as fast as like just jumping away. So it has a lot of end lag. So you gotta like check for that stuff, right? But let me go back, let me reset, re let me reset back to um just like his tools overall. But 
I'm gonna die. Oof. But yeah, like, jab 2 should be, like, your second layer. So the first layer is, like, a jab. Then the second layer is your, like, jab 2. Since you can, like, basically cancel off of it, right? It's like your safety net. Canceling is basically your safety net. Like, if you mess up, like, okay, I overcommitted to this, like, jab. I gotta finish the ender, right? Which could be, like, jab 3 or jab 2. Well, not jab 2. Or a special cancel, excuse me. So, when developing your fuel pressure, you should be like looking into like, okay, what are the layers? So there should be a starter, a filler, or like a mid, and then there should be an ender, which should be your finishing move, basically. So there should be layers to it, you know? Yes. It could be it anything you want. Way. Yeah? You know, it pushes them like super far and it is still F tilt. So I go up. It'll be down tilt, up tilt, F tilt. <laughs> I think that's probably my favorite one I've found personally. Yeah, that's pretty good. But like the most simplest like um shield pressure string you can do. And it always works no matter who it is, what character you're dealing with. You don't have to worry about like, oh, they're shielding all of it. Literally just F tilt into down tilt. Watch this. F tilt, down tilt. That seems really dirty. It is. It's pretty nasty. On taller characters like Terry, stuff like this can happen. So, shield again. Ah, oh, snap. I messed up. So, sometimes, if they, um, are way too close to the power dunk, they actually get spiked. Or, like, if they try to jump from the corner. It's really dumb in the corner like this. So shield. And then try and jump. Ah. Try and jump after the down tilt. Ah. You full hot. That exact interaction happens here. Yeah. Where you spike through them. Yeah. That's why I try not to fire. It's pretty, pretty snappy. Uh. I like, yeah, I like that so because, like, it's safe. Also really up, yeah. This mix up is safe. So, like, try and grab me afterwards. After the down tilt. Oh. No! Alright, back to center. Hey! I said after the down tilt. <laughs> Let's see. You can also, like, hardbox shift it away. Yeah. You can just do no, it on the after. Yeah, it's kind of, like, really dumb. Can I do sometimes if it's a kill? I go, uh, I've noticed that yeah, I usually try to end with F tilt or F tilt. I think, think down tilt would be a good end move. It's a good, like, it's another filler move. So, like, um. So your start should be, like, jab, down tilt, F tilt. It could. And also, like, um. If you want to go with varials as well, it could be, like, nah, fair. Or like, um, up air. Up air is a really good, um, star as well. Since it's really safe, and you can go into, like, whatever you want. Cause you can, like, cause, like, jab, well, not jab, up tilt, right? This should be only used as your filler move. Because, because you can do anything at once, but, like, um, it's, like, the same tier as, like, F tilt, but, like, worse, because, you know, you gotta be a little bit closer, right? Because, like, the range on it is kind of pitiful in comparison to, like, uh, any of your other, like, anti Yeah. So, yeah, if they're on shield, go jab up tilt. I just, yeah, on shield is fine. Because, like, look at the spacing yeah. on it. It will hit his shield, like, from here. And it pushes them, yeah. like, further then back like that. Back. Yeah, then, I, then you have to flip her head. Yeah, you could go for, like, that into a crack shoot. Which is really safe. Um, what what else I was gonna say? But yeah, like move wise, yeah. Uh, jab free. This should only be used as your last ditch resort. 
is your like ender. It's a good ender at low percents, because um if I kill you real quick, sorry. Let's try this again. Yeah, look. It sets them up into a tech chase. See that? Which you can chase up on. So I'll do that again. You can do like power wave, set them up, boom. You already got pressure. Yeah, so it's really good for that. If they DI up, so DI up for me. Well, you, you kind of were, but like, do it again. Just it, hold up. Yeah, there you go. At low presents as well, you can chase them up. Like, like swap them out of the air with like a there. Um, do it up air, or like even like a um, burn knuckle. I usually do burn knuckle because it's so good at like anti airing people. That's another way of just like starting your offense as well. Like, when, once you get the hit, of course. But like um, on shield, it should be your last ditch resort to like push them away, or like to frame trap them. If you know they're going for a grab or something. But yeah, you shouldn't use it otherwise. It's also good for like um being cheeky with like catching it with down tilt afterwards. So like um shield all of these and then roll. Look, see, like shield pokes. Shouts for shield pokes and stuff. And it's really good for, like, just catching people off guard. They'll be like, oh, he didn't special cancel. What the hell? He's still in place? Okay. Um, what else? Yeah, that's not really, um, anything you need to worry about too much. But, like, it definitely sets up, like, your offense as well. So don't count it out as not a useful button because it can do so much. Um, okay, let's go into, um, his second best, um, button, and fastest button, his down tilt. This move is ridiculous. It's really safe, only being, like, minus six on hit. On hit, it's, like, um, a little plus, a little bit plus. The benefits from it is, like, um, of course, spacing it, you can do, like, um, it hits further away than like most of his other like moves. So like his, you know, his um star moves because like look, his jab one or j jab two won't hit, but like down to will. Right? Like, if I want to be specific, I would have to go like really close. But like if I'm not too sure, I could just go check, check, like that. Look, stump his toe into instant checks. And like if he buffers air dodge, buff air dodge, it sets up for like vortex. Oop. Um, do you know what I mean by vortex? Or, or you're not too sure, or you heard it from like a video or something. Uh, are you talking about just like how you're probably gonna get it by like any special layer, or are you talking about? Like uh, something else, something else entirely. So like a, um, a vortex is basically like a cycle of moves, basically, that sets up for another mix-up. So if you like know Street Fighter or something, right? You know, like Akuma. He has like all these different mix-ups, like, you know, like... So for example, if he air dodges, right? Um, so air dodge, buffer air dodge. So like hold, you can hold air dodge and hold away after the hit. Like, air dodge away. There we go. Hey. Yeah, there we go. But basically, he, he sets up for these like weird scenarios where you can actually just chase him up on it. So like, you don't really need to hit confirm it, especially at lower percents because you can just like, check. Yeah. Yeah. And chase their like, the yeah, and chase their defensive they're, option. They're down there, right? Exactly. You can, like chase okay, that. So my my recent development of Barry has been that I think down tilt is not that like it's obviously broken. Like it's I think down tilt down tilt burn up is like so funny compared to normal. Yeah. Up. So uh, my recent development that is that jab is jab is okay, down tilt is clutch, and air tilt is broken. <laughs> Down to the crutch? What the hell? 
Yeah, well, like, because sometimes, it depends on the frame data, but sometimes you, you a, a, a lot of percent, like a lot of the mids, anything under like 60, uh, FPL probably, like, the, the, one of the odds that they're, they have frame data in between frame 6 and 10, a lot of times, like, you might as well just FPL because it's bigger range and you have bigger, pun bigger punishes off of it. But the thing is, time. right? Of course, like. Well, that's what rise is kind of crazy. Kind of feels like I'm not going to be saying that. Like, I'm just because, uh, uh, but I've been going back and forth between jab and forward tilt right now, and that feels good. Obviously, it's it's still being used. It's it should good. be your check. This this move is like really good for checking in general because if you low profile. Yeah. This doesn't. This will whiff on a lot of moves compared to like this, yeah. which will actually catch their landings a lot of the times. That's why, like, I think it's one of his best buttons in terms of, like, um, yeah. just catching landings. I, I, I guess what I'm trying to think about it is, like, it's more utility than I thought. I thought it was just, like... It has way more, short yeah. Range jab. I thought it was, like, short-range jab, down, well, mid-range, down tilt, long-range up tilt. But actually, it's, like, F to, uh, jab when in doubt, F tilt if you want to kill, like, actually get some new damage, and then down tilt, like, just, like, with Swiss Army Knife, just, like, you can kill... It's bread and butter, right? Yeah. Of course, yeah. You're definitely right on that point. But, like, um, it has so many usages. I'm telling you, right now, this I'm move is super more. versatile. I'm trying to use, uh, I'm trying to use dash down tilt more, too. Because I can't use it enough. Yeah, yeah it's like button, really... Button. Yeah. I don't know. I'm trying to use that. It's really Wait, good for shocking. Explain... Yeah? I'm trying to think of it. Can you explain to me why... If you go dash down tilt, and you go for burn knuckle, it... 95% that will be power dash. Wait, what? Wait, repeat that again? If you do, like, the dash, I don't even know how to describe dash game for so. Yeah. Yeah. If I go for burn knuckle, I almost always get power dash. Is there, like, a specific I think reason for that? The reason why is because you're, like, um, reset, you're not resetting your stick. So, like, if you're going for burn if you, yeah, because like this only happens if you're holding forwards. Oh, sorry. I was trying to do it whilst I'm um, running. Oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah, because you're doing the up forward motion, which basically like um is DP. Basically, this power dunk. Yeah. Oh, is that a different? Is there another input to power dunk? Yeah. So there's a DP motion. You know, like the Z motion, and then there's like a down forwards motion, which is down forwards, and then you do a button like that. It's like down forwards, oh, forwards. So you think I'm doing that. Yeah, because it's overlapping, because it's going like it's overlapping with like a quarter circle button. Okay. So well, that's why you have to reset your stick whenever you're going for it, or do a half circle, like what I do what? sometimes. Yeah, so like, um, because it's basically resetting your stick back to neutral. Yeah, it's basically. And then it goes neutral. around. It goes like basically it. around. So, like this. Yeah. I think, uh, my answers to my step on the two is like that. Yeah, you can do that as well. It confirms. I'm trying to reset the stick basically. Yeah, it's, it's just way better to just, like, get the single hit because. Sometimes this will whiff, right? Double down tilt will whiff. Yeah, yeah, I don't or, want to do or triple sometimes on heavies, right? If they're like really fat, then you could get you could get mad damage. Or you could delay it. Like this? See? This won't work if I mash. But if I like delay, look at that. I get triple. Oops, sorry. But yeah. Yeah, just to, it's, it's very simple to just go for ones and twos. That's that's all you need. That's those are the optimal ones. 
Is it just more excessive? Really mad, but yeah. My friends are gonna be mad, but I grabbed it and I was like, that shit's gonna be something I'm gonna do after it just ripples out. Nah, they're gonna be. Nah, like, they're gonna be yo, you said you got scammed. You got daylight robbery. <laughs> this this character is silly. Redonkulous. But yeah, like, um, let me just go into more depth as well with, um, the down tilt as well. Whilst we still have time. But yeah. Like, it's really good for just, like, resetting the opponent. Because you're plus, whilst they're still, like, try shield afterwards. So see? Like, I'm plus. So I can act before he does. And I can start my offense, right? So if I don't want to go for the hit confirm, and I know they're going to SDI or something, I can just, like, delay into another button. Like to jump in. And then reset. Is the downfall up air like super hurt and stuff for you or like not really? Wait, say again? Is, is like down tilt, is, let's say you're down tilt, you're down tilt like 70, you do the downfall up air, is that like, is that like a decent mix up with the shield timings or is that? Yeah, yeah, of course. That's too much time to like think about. Because it's on minus, two, it's slightly like, it's between minus two and minus three. If you do like a really good one, like a really good jump in, it's minus two. So I'll show you. So like if you try to shield it, right? Shield and then grab me when I do up air. So come to center stage here. Okay. Ready? No, 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 no not the down tilt. The up air afterwards, okay? So I'm gonna hit you, then you shield, and then I'm gonna up air, okay? So, when I hit you, when I hit you with the down tilt, then shield, then try and grab the up air. Ah. No worries. Bro, you did it way too early, holy snap! Well, um, you're kind of getting me- okay. You're doing like full hop, do you have to do full hop, or? Um, yes. So you can do short hop as well, but like, um, full hopping, of course, is much better. Cause that's how the mix-up works. Cause you can go for li literally anything. Cause this covers multiple arcs compared to like short hopping. Especially in the corner. Cause I could just do this. Yeah, and then you go for a kill, yeah. Exactly, I could I could bait. Yeah, set up, yeah. yeah, I can I can bait it. So like um shield and then I'm gonna up here. Like that. Yeah. Yeah, that sets it up from the down tilt, by the way, because they, they instantly shield. Like that. Yeah, because they're going to get burned down tilt. Yeah. Exactly. But it sets up those reset scenarios, where you can go for those, you know, like, those mix-ups. It also is really good at, like, chasing up, like, defensive habits. So, like, if they love air dodging out, out of combos, because, you know, they have a frame to air dodge, like Sonic or something, that's how you chase it up. It's like that. Check. Okay. Are they gonna shield? No. Are they not gonna shield? Okay. Cross them up. Break their ankles. And it links into literally everything. It's like... It literally links into everything. Like, it combos into down smash. It combos into, like, literally everything. So it does kind of Huh? Or is it, it's, so if you do two down tilts, it will combo the down smash. It can. You can do it even from single down, like, down smash. I just need to get in uh, like, like, a decent percent. Where it'll actually, like, like, here, here, it will definitely, like, work. So you can't even add those, just, see? That works. Ah, oh, rip. But yeah, like, you can combo it into, like, um, down smash, your tilts, jab, of course, and even your aerials, right? So it's very versatile in that sense. If you remember, like, it even links into itself from the jabs, yeah. so it loops. So you get the point, right? It's kind of, yeah. like, broken in that sense. It's only enough by its speed, but, like, otherwise, it's really dumb overall.
I think I get, I think I've been like, uh, uh, grabbed by them for so many times I've found a way to get away from doing quick things. You want to know why that was? I keep saying like, that was not bad. Yeah. Like, obviously, I probably didn't space it or whatever, but. Uh, yeah, it's spacing and also like, like you're matching another down, down tool afterwards. That's why. Because I was watching you, you were doing, you were doing this, you were doing this on his shield, and he grabbed you every single time. So do it again. Um, so shield and grab me. You were doing this, yeah, which you should not be doing. So like, if you get double down tilt, you jump. You have to like buffer jump, or like if you get once a single down tilt, you have to jump like that. Oh. Yeah, because if you go for multiple. And they're not conditioned, and they're mashing grab, they will win. Because this comes out way slower. Look at this. Look how delayed that is. In between each slight down tilt. If you're like flipping the C stick. Sometimes I'll hold down and then C stick, because it comes out way quicker. Yeah, so basically, if, uh, if I go for one, I can jump and basically kill him with like. Yeah, so exactly. You can go day. into like your yeah, nose and stuff. Yeah. So every time I, if I watch you, that's what you you actually do that all the time. You go one down tilt to jump up air or something, and then and yeah, I'll like retreat. Blow them up. Yeah, exactly. I'll just like do my button. Well, yeah, 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 retreating or up air. Just the amount of times I've seen someone just whip grab you, it's way too many times. <laughs> that that explains part of it. Exactly. That's what happens when you like mash like your shield like pressure and not like time it. Like spacing it and timing it again. You're, n you're noticing these like same words I'm using every single time. And it's true. It's all about spacing and timing. But um but yeah, um remember just abuse this button a lot in neutral. Because it's good for like set play. Especially like this, see, like on tech chases, that like that, like exactly, like down to check. Oh, did he not do anything? Okay, boom, boom, boom. Oh, set someone on the platform, dead. If I want to go like frame trap him, you see. So it leads into so many scenarios. Uh, what else should I talk about? Yeah, it should be like use for scouting out roles. Low profiling a lot of buttons. So like um I want you to try and like um hmm. I'm I'm trying to think of a good scenario for this. Okay. Try and jump on on top of me whilst I'm after the after the down tilt on your shield, okay? So I'm gonna do F tilt into down tilt, and I want you to jump on top of me. You get the idea, which was What's this? You see? Like, he hops over me. I do down tilt. If he did, like, an aerial or something, I would have been, like, ready to catch that. Because I'm already charging. It helps with, like, charge posit positioning. And also setting up, like, um, traps. Like that. To catch him jumps. You can also, like, do down tilt. Wait for the roll or something. You see that? You do that, like, scout. But yeah, you get the picture, right? Yeah. You use that to catch rolls and stuff. Because it's really quick. Oh, that's neat. Really safe in the ground. Oh, it's yeah, and you can do this as well. I do this a lot. You might see me just doing down tilts in general, just to low profile. And then, like, retreat. Like, do down tilt, check. See what they do in neutral. How do you react to it? And then, like, crash you away. You know, like, it's really good at that aspect. Um, let's go into F tilt now. Another great button. This is the Holy Sword. As such, it, it does mad damage. It does, like, so much damage that literally, bro, it's one of your highest damaging, like, tilts. Because of one feature, another feature, from, you know, it's brethren, you know, these, these buttons here, it has a tipper effect. 
So if you actually let's both SD real quick. So you'll notice that this this F total look does fifteen percent, right? Fifteen point one. Okay. Now I'm gonna refresh. Oh, I should have let you do it. Oh, God damn it. Um, but we'll, we'll do the math anyways. Look, watch this. I'm going to space it on you and look how much damage it does. 16.4. Yeah, exactly. That's way more than like um, just doing it normally in front of them, right? And that's, and that's really good Is to know. Is frame safer? Oh. Yeah. It makes it way safer. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's why you get rewarded for spacing. And it locks them into shield. So much better than just doing it on top of them. So utilizing the spacing is so crucial. Because you can just do like stuff like this. So like uh, I'll space it and then you try to like... Um, let's say grab. Okay? So I'll space it. To shield. Boom. I can go into like run up button if I wanted to, or like jump in button to punish him if I wanted to. Oh, sorry. Well, of course, if you do fair, I, you didn't even use that the whole set. What, what the hell? I thought you just knew how to grab. <laughs> but okay, um, but yeah, like it's really good at like spacing. And it also sets up into check chases much earlier than if you just did it normally. But there are some benefits and like um, cons about like using it. Yes, it affects it at a lower percentage as well, of course. So like certain things will tech chase. But yeah, go ahead. I was gonna say that why. Sometimes the F tilt, um, it's like the F tilt, uh, muscle, it's different for sometimes. Yeah. Like sometimes. Exactly. Not yeah, it's that. Yeah. It's basically that, yeah. So, whenever you try to go for that hit confirm from that far away, that's what happens if you try to, like, um, space it and then it whiffs. That's why there's some benefits in some things you should not do when you're going for like your your F tilts, like um going for tippers like a certain percent. But here, if I go for tipper, this is gonna do so much damage. Yeah. But if I did if I didn't go for it, look, multi hits. So do the extra damage. But then there's also sometimes when going for tipper is actually better because you get this hitbox. See? The tipper hitbox yeah, you oh. Got yeah, exactly. The strong hit of um crack shoot. Which like yeah, destroy I, uh, shields. I I've been trying to do strong I've been doing heavy crack shoot a lot more, um, but then I haven't really seen I haven't done in footage as much. Um but I noticed it does obviously there's more shield damage at some point, but a lot of times I've noticed the the first hit of heavy crack shoot doesn't hit. Sometimes it'll be the second one. Yeah, it does more damage and it does more knockback. There's also some like other things you need to know about like crack shoot, but I'll explain it a little bit later on. But um let me just quickly run down a few other things as well. It's like um it's, of course you can special cancel off of this. And it sends it into that check chase again. Now you see why when I do that power wave, right? It sends them to the tech chase, and then I can follow up on it. Now, if I'm on point, I can get like hit confirms like that. For sure, really early, and it sets up into those like really dumb scenarios where, if you have go, you die instantly. Look at that. And then you go for the down tilt check, see? See what they do. 
Oh, did it air dodge or something? Okay, back off. So like, oh, it didn't hit properly. But like, let's see. That's not. That's because he's not dying away. But like, um, if he was dying away or something, it still sends into that set face, right? So they still have to deal with it. But it's just like they give themselves more space. And that gives you more space to like um work with, right? And regain that positioning. Yeah, it should be your strongest tool. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you can go into pat uh Buster Wolf as well. If you like know the timing and also like um if you time it towards the power wave as well, it does so much damage. It's crazy. Kills like at 50 in the corner. You can catch them like lacking. Um Yeah, up to um it's very lackluster. As you may know, it's not really good outside of like um filler on like block strings. So you shouldn't really use it too much in neutral. It should be used more so for like um catching landings or like um calling out like um certain options, right? Because like there's certain things that it can do that um F still can't. So like um for example, if I get go, give me go. So like yeah, just damage me. Like F still will do the the work. Oh, sorry. I'm, I'm trying to. I'm trying to <laughs> get that mental damage. All right, there we go. So like um with up tilt. So if you shield and try to roll away, I have so much time in comparison to F tilt. So even if you try to roll behind me or something, right, to try and cross me up. Boom. Punish. That's what that's what I do that exactly a lot. Because people uh, will roll behind me. Just because they think it's gonna be better to the guys behind me. The window uh, me. Yeah, the window is huge on up tilt compared to like F tilt for cancelling off of. So that's why sometimes uh, you would go for that instead. Oh, okay. But I have, that's something I felt I didn't yeah, and there's also like some other setups you can go for. So like sometimes this won't kill, right? Power gazing. But you see like it sends them into this like really weird angle where it can actually set, set up onto the platform. Look. They die. Sometimes you don't want to hit confirm off of it, you wanna just like delay it and wait. If it, especially on a platform. If you set them up on the platform, they die. Cause they get hit by the full like hitbox yeah, compared to like the off of it, so. yeah compared to like just well, yeah. whipping. Is there a reason? Not? Okay, I only sort of understand that. Where did he, did he, if he just confirmed off of it, wouldn't it, it also kill or no? No, certain times because remember people di those hit confirmed, so that's why you want to set them up on a platform where you can just like put them into a tech chase, which. Denies all of that, especially on PS2 where their platforms are like so small that it covers the whole platform. There's no right arms option there. Te technically, it is. I was just thinking like the up tilt could send them higher, so wouldn't it? Then the, then the regular arm would say platform. Because like if he okay, look, let me show you like the difference. Okay, um, I'll give you go as well. Um. There we go. And then give me go. Ah! Skadoosh. Okay. One more? Yeah, there we go. So, like, I'm gonna show you. So, um, hit me with, um, Power Gazer. So, uh, no, 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 no! <laughs> I was about to say, like, I'm um, doing up to a power game. Sorry, sorry. 
Uh, reset. We gotta reset. I'm sorry. Wait. Um, you don't. You don't. I have to. Alright, hit me again. Wait, no, you're gonna stay on your move! Just, just use normal moves. Just like, like, um, other special moves. Cause I don't want you to stay on it. Alright, good. Uh, do f tilt. Do f tilt again? Oh, never mind. Never mind. Okay, um, so I want you to do up tilt into power gazer. Why the I didn't? Bruh. Sorry. Oh, wait! What am I doing? <laughs> My brain. Alright, um, do it again. Yeah, get me to that percent again. Oh, this is gonna be long. I'm so sorry, guys. Don't wanna waste your time like that. I'm just trying to show you, like, the differences between, like, not teching and teching. Alright, there we go. Alright, do it again. Fuck! <laughs> I messed it up! I messed it up! I messed it up! Yeah, well, I guess that's partially what I was gonna say is most people. From the, the only time I fall out of my up tilt geyser is a, when I get him with like the high hitbox of up tilt. It's usually not. Um, it's it's kind of rare that it's not. Yeah, you can avoid the base. Fun. Yeah, you can avoid the base of it, but like it's very awkward. Uh, what was the one I did again? Uh, do 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 do. It would be much easier for me to just like show you at certain percents rather than just both of us being on go because we would just explode, right? But um, all right, uh, let's try again. This time you have go and put me at sixty percent. Well, actually, 70. That, was, that should be good. Alright. Now do up tilt power gazer. I'm gonna try and DI away. There we go. And now I'm at, like, this percent, right? But I live. Now I want you to be at 70 this time. I'm gonna put you at 70%. And I'm gonna set you up onto the platform this time. There we go, exactly 70. All right, I'm gonna set you up onto the platform. So come towards me. No, 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 come towards me, yep. Yeah. If I timed it, if I timed it towards his roll, it covered everything. Usually I backdash and then cover it. Let me try that again. It kills much earlier. Oh yeah, he was not good. But you lived at 100 or 70. Exactly. I lived way longer than he did. Even if he DI'd it correctly, he still dies earlier. Well, they might be they might be holding this direction of attack too. So my fuck up. Exactly! That's what you want! For yeah. them to like cross up their DI. Uh, DI and then roll in. Mm -hmm. Usually, what I've been spreading off recently is noticing that people like do take the DI out of it. So they'll. I was just. It doesn't work, obviously, but like if I up tilt, they'll air dodge away and I just burn that roll and they'll die. Right. That's like, okay, you air dodge away and then I keep chasing because you're still drifting yeah. out. If they air dodge it, if they air dodge it, what's this? They don't, they don't know that up tilt leaves them nothing, but I'm not doing that. Wait, uh, add up to me quickly? Oh, I messed up. My buttons. Oh. Um, I want you to add up the way. That's fine. So broken. Cause like most people try to add on like every single like um button Terry has, right. so yeah, you start mashing. Yeah. Um I actually yeah, I suck on Morgan smashes a lot now, but I've been trying to find anti mashing habits. Ah. 
Fair enough, fair enough. <laughs> Ooh, uh, one second, let me just um, text someone real quick. Alright, there we go. Um, right. Since we're already done with, like, um, these tilts now. You already know, like, F-tilt. Of course, you want to try and use it for with punishing. You've already been doing that really well, but, like, um, definitely add, like, um, the slide. So you see, like, I'm sliding back with it. Now this makes it much easier to catch rolls. And stuffs out like um short hops or like jump ins. So like if you try to like um there in front of me, right? Like this. Like try and jump towards me with an air. So like I'll be here, right? I'm gonna dash back jab like this. And then when I approach you, you wanna do nair. Okay? Ready? It's fine. This is a sliding forward button, right? Yeah, we're trying to do that more with the... But it's harder to access the uh, slide that you can do. Yeah. It's sort of doing much more personality. It's because it's just more too hard right now. Mm-hmm. Nah, that's fine. It's just like execution-wise, right? Whenever you're, like, um, going for the F-tilt, like sliding F-tilt, you want to release the stick, and then go for your special move. Whenever you go for it. So you get the cleaner version of it, like that. Where there's like no hiccups on the... The down tilts. Look down tilt. Ah! Yeah, the hiccup turn. Sorry, my brain is tired, man. It's like almost, it's basically 12. We've been going on for like, over two hours, but it's fine. I'll try and like speed this up now. Usually you wanna try and like use your buttons like these for space control. So you already see me like um walling out with like these aerials. You see like this. And just like um threatening that space. Right? I'm not always like fast walling sometimes, I'm just like hovering in that position and waiting for my opponent to mess up and then going for the punish. So I seen you doing this um solid, like earlier, like you were just doing this, trying to wall out yeah. like um me and um shadows approaches like this. This is one yeah. good example of doing it, but the way you were doing it wasn't the smartest because for one you overextend a lot with it, so it makes it much easier for like someone to reverse with you. So you gotta be very careful when you do it, and also you fast for a lot. Sometimes you want to just like wait, like hover in the same place like this, or like microspace like that. See what I'm doing? And then go for your button. Yeah. So it misses up the timing, so you don't know, oh, when is he going to hit me? When is he going to hit me? The threat of reversal, right? Well, it's, it's, uh, it stops your hitbox from coming out, so you get hands hitbox over here. Yeah, it covers like so much space, like this. And... Like, look at it. Yeah, they're pretty nasty as well. Cause like, this covers so many like options just by like existing like this. I'm holding back like a lot. So as soon as I do the full air, I'm drifting back. So basically, what I do is. I'm buffering jump, so like I'm shielding, then I'm buffering jump, then C stick at the exact same time, so I get the maximum air drift. Oh, you're getting the, oh, okay, you're doing the macro. Got it. So I'm hold, no, I'm not even doing the macro. I'm short hopping, I'm buffering the short, the short hop, look, see, and then I'm doing the C stick right next to it. 
and then holding it like I'm drifting. So I'm not like fully like fast falling or anything unless it's like on hit. So I get back to roll distance like this. And it's really good for like spacing. Look at this. Because you can just like wall out with like you can do it in place like that. Double jump. And I don't like hold forwards because the macro look, the macro does this. You see I'm I'm slowly moving towards you. Yeah. That's what the macro does. With the C stick. So that's why I do these ones. Where I'm actually holding it. So I know where I'm gonna be spacing and I stay in place, basically. And I hold my ground with it. So I can like if I wanna go fully out, I could just do this. If I wanna go a little bit out, I'll just do a little short in like that. Slight drift back. Or if I wanna go nowhere, I can just do that. Simple holding my ground. And they have to deal with all this pressure, right? But right, now I'll show you how to add this to your play, right? How to make you like really good with your game plan or like restructure your game plans in general. Cause I I think certain playstyles would work better for, you know, YouTube. So, for example, for, so, well, Shadow here, right? He's basically very power wave heavy, right? You, if you notice, he's very power heavy. Not really, like, taking the full initiative unless it's necessary. So he likes to stay back and just, like, wall, out, wall them out. Now, I think the best thing he could like possibly do is like play more like turtling right turtling playing really defensive and then like calling out the landings right with a whiff punish because like have you ever heard of turtling before right shadow <laughs> no way <laughs> Yeah, yeah, have you heard of, um, I don't know if you heard the question, but, like, have you ever heard of, like, um, Turtling? Or, like, no, okay. Oop. So, like, in Street Fighter, right, I always go back to it, but, like, um, there's a character called Guile, and, you know, like, he's very defensive. You know, he's always like crouching, right? The meme. He's always crouching like this. Right, he's always crouching, waiting for the opponent to like jump in, and he's like, flash kick! And he's always like walling out with like projectiles. I think your style would work best with that, in tandem with that. Basically, how I'd like you to play with the power waves and stuff is like mixing up the timing. So you always do like the heavy versions. Or like, um, sometimes it will be like, um, the lights, but it's always the heavies I see. And then you don't know what to do. And because you're doing the heavy version in neutral, right? So like, even really close, like here, where it's easy to, for me to just, just jump in on you. I think you should be like, more or less like, trying to like, wall out better. And make it harder for the opponent to just like, jump in on you. So like, okay, you'll bait them like this. Like... If you ever watch my sets, right, I'm being like this sometimes as well, but when I see them approach me, I'm like, I'm gone. Or like, if they try to overextend, boom. Punish. Punish the landing. With something simple. So I'll do a power wave, I want you to jump. Jump at me. Right? Now, jump at me again, but try and attack me. That's what I want you to do. That sort of stuff. Like, just baiting, baiting them with a the power wave, and then punishing the landing. With like a down tilt, or like um, frame trapping them, right? Frame trapping their landing, and then punishing them. That's what I want you to do with your like, sort of play. And like, if you don't like the situation you're in, it's like, okay, I don't want to land, 
like like this or like edge down, I should get out of there, crash your way. You know, look, look at this. Look how far away I go. So like from center stage, I'm already here. From one full hop, I'm already here. So that's what I want you to do. Like in disadvantage, just reset to a safer position with crack shoot. But remember, mix up it mixing up your options uh, is key. So don't always go for this, just mix it up. Oh, one second, messages again. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. So I want you to practice that now. So um, real quick, we'll do like the basics, which is basically just like um, where's your power waves? Punish me just jumping in, okay? All right, that's good. Oh. Also, like um, power dunk could be good as well for stopping people from jumping in. So. I'll do it to you, so you, you can see what the spacing I'm showing you, and try and memorize it, okay? So jump in. Oh, messed up. Wait for the power wave, wait for the power wave, right? See? Okay, that, that's what I want to show you. Okay, go ahead, do it again. So I'm going to do your power wave. Boom. I did a down tilt check first, to see, like, okay, do I have enough time? And then I do power power dunk, okay? So like, this is the distance I'm showing you. This dash back jab distance, which I want you to learn. That's gonna be one of your um, things I want you to learn after the session. Just like dash back jabs. These long ones, you see? So um, remember what I told you. So you're doing it during the run, the run animation. So you're running backwards, running backwards like this, look. I'm running backwards, and it's, he's turning away from the camera. See this? Yeah, he's running away from the camera. You want to cancel that animation with jab. So you slide. There you go. That's one. Oh. That was a late one. That's a late one. Because you've seen like, the animation of his back turning towards you. You shouldn't see that animation. It should be seamless like that. You should be only seeing the animation of him turning away. So you see, when I do it, look. You hardly ever see the frame. See that? So, boom, boom. Hardly even see it. You're doing this. Which is fine. But, like, it's too slow. And you won't get the slide. Which is what you want. For the micro spacing. Because this puts you at roll distance. This overextends, and then you're in a run animation, which is laggy. Because this, you can shield instantly, and hold your positioning. Look at that. Safe check, and shield. Yeah, remember, just like, once you see it, once you see the animation of him turning around, that's when you press A. Let go of the stick, and then press A. You'll get used to the timing. There you go. That's, that's one of the versions. There you go. Hey, there's, there's one. Hey, you did it again. Let's go. But yeah, I want you to get that timing down. So you can get into the right position to punish someone jumping in at you. So like, whenever you see someone like trying to approach you, you just dash out of that situation like this. Shield, or you can go for dash back, down tilt, dash back into like F tilt if you want. Or even like, uh, remember, power dunk to co cover their landing, down smash, those things. Remember, just to keep it simple, okay? Don't overthink it. So, let's try that, okay? I'm gonna jump in from the power wave, right? And then you punish me with, uh, remember the, the option I show you? With like F tilt or down smash, okay?
Ready? Oh, like I'm pouting. Oh, sorry. Oh, you can do it now. You can do it now. Oh. Ready? Ah. No. But yeah, I'll write you up something for that, basically. For what game plan I want you to go with, okay? And try and structure it from my point on that, um, excuse me, that sheet. Alright, Solid, get in here, right now. You don't have time, come on, come on now. <laughs> Alright, now for you, my friend. I think I could, we could say, like, um, for you, you could be more, like, similar to my style, right? Because you're really reactive. <laughs> Excuse me, sorry, fly. There's a fly in here. Ah! Yeah, like, um, for you, I think, yeah? Wait, say again? Oh, cool. No worries. Yeah, the fade back forward airs. Remember, you're holding forwards for a split second. And and then, like, when you're drifting back, you're doing this. So you're jumping, then holding the C-stick, and then just drifting with the control stick. So it's like almost seamless from the short hop. It helps my buffering shield and then doing it from that position. Like this. And then you make it a repetition and just practicing this. Like dash in, fade back fair. Dash in, fade back fair. You can do it from a full hop as well, like that. That's fine as well. But I want to show you the short hop version, which is like really safe. Yeah. This is also safe, but like, this is really good. I like just like stuffing out people's movements. And this gives you enough time to react. Remember, this, this puts you at like roll distance again. Same with this. So now you have enough time to react and press the button. So dash back, wait, and see what they do. So you have enough time to react and then punish them with like a like an aerial or something, or like a F tilt like that. Yeah, I know, Nair is pretty dumb. Rising Nair is pretty dumb. <laughs> yeah, it's super good at like... Yeah, it's really good at like, conveying off of it as well. Like, you can do the exact same thing with Nair as well. It's good for hurtbox just thing as well, especially for like jump ins. Oh my god, I got the, I got the double nair. <laughs> yeah, I think for you specifically, I think it's just like putting yourself at that perfect position because I think your game plan works fine, but you just need to give yourself more space. You need to know how to put yourself at that perfect position to just like react. Yeah, just practicing like um sliding tilts. Like that. So you put yourself at the perfect position to just like stuff it out like that. As checks. Mm-hmm. Ah. Oh go ahead. 
Look, see? Yeah. But I have to grab. You see? Like, I have to grab all. Otherwise, it doesn't work. Oh, but if it doesn't, well, it's shield sure pressure. It's easy shield sure pressure. Yeah. See, so, so let's land on top of them. Just don't autopilot. Yeah, you can go into, like, um, power dunk from there. Also, I'll show you, actually, I'll show you, like, some more shield pressure stuff you can do, which is really good, and it will improve your, like, overall awareness of shield pressure, real quick. Yeah, so, you already know about this, right? That beats out every option the opponent can do, because you can just, like, back off, look, so, boom, boom, back dash, back knuckle. Oh, I did my job. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's really good. Because it stuffs out the ju jump as well. Wait, wait, where do you start it with? It down tilt. F tilt. F tilt down. And then down tilt, and then burn knuckle. F tilt, down tilt. And then back dash. So you give yourself space, and then you can react with the burn knuckle, or you can just, like, you know, cover that spacing. Sometimes I'll do this into this, and then jump with them to kill them. So if you jump afterwards, like, jump away. So, block. And then jump. Well, most people would jump oh, there. Right. Yeah, you get you yeah, get the idea, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, that stuffs out that. Same with like power dunk as well. You can chase them up with it. Yeah. Right. You can also go for um some other shield pokes as well. From this, so like F two already sets it up, right? So you can go for. I messed it up. The power wave. I was going to show you the power wave. Shield poke. So, eh. Yeah. I've been trying to do, I used to do, uh, just have power wave. Like, I still power wave. I used to do that. Right? They are, they're really good. They're really good on shield. Trust me, you gotta be. Like, Because it conditions them to like back off afterwards, like afterwards. Oop. Oh, yeah. It was a fresh shield, sorry. Yeah, yeah let me try it again. Yeah. Ah, I was too close, I was too close. Yeah. yeah, and you can just like dash oh. afterwards. Or you can go for dash attack. Ah! <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot. You can, so you lose invincibility. So you lose invincibility whenever like um you get a shield break. So that's why you hit me out of it. It was like I broke your shield and then grabbed. Yeah, you did. You broke my shield and then that's what happened. So whenever a timeout happens, you can't like survive from invincibility. Interesting. I learned something. The more you well, know. Matter, <laughs> it's cool, it's cool. But yeah, uh, I'll show you one more thing before we end the session. I will give you guys some write ups afterwards. So you have like something to look back on the session and also like um, get a good like grasp of what you should do to pursue forwards with um, Smash. But yeah, uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. what was I gonna show? Uh, what actually was I gonna show you? Other than the shield pr pressure stuff to improve that. Oh yeah. Uh, okay. I think I'm gonna show you what to do when opponents are just like doing certain like strings to you. So like, um, if someone tries to do an instant reversal, right? You want to do this, this sort of stuff. So I want you to try and, hmm. Okay, what do you do when I, I jump, I jump in on you? What do you do? Like, what do I do? Oh no no, like um on shield. What do you do? If you're running up to me, shield. If I'm like, if we're like this. Mhm. 
Like, if I jump on top of you like that. <laughs> Fair <laughs> enough. Or like double jump forward air. Okay, like fair. Yeah, it's a good button. It's a good button because you can just do this. Just a lot of this. Because I do this a lot as a whiff punishing tool. So like I'll do this. Oh, oops, excuse me. So I do this. And then double jump away. And then I bait them with the initial like forward air like this. So if I did that, I fade back and then I burn my food to punish their like um, option. So if I did that, I did it in place. Oh, because I can just act before I land with the forward air, so I can do that, and then boom, punish their landing. So like jump in forward air. Oh, I don't like that situation. I'm just gonna fade back and then burn my core. And then punish their mash. You know, like, you know, some people will just like chase afterwards, like Hallie or something. Yeah, go on, right? Yeah. Uh, do, 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 do. Oh yeah, forward air is broken as well, ledge. Do it. Yeah, just like low, ah! low air. What are you doing? What is he cooking? I, I thought I grabbed the ledge. <laughs> no, you I didn't. This game, this game on live, I swear the game's different. Like, so <laughs> I was going to show you at ledge. Once, Hold yeah, on. Because you, you didn't know what to do when I was at when you were at the ledge, well, no, right? I just, I just, the last two weeks, I've been trying to ledge drop. Which I think is pretty... I think it's good. It's alright, but you have so many better options now as Terry and unique ones. So come over here. Come over here. Alright, um, I'm gonna wait for your invincibility to end. So you had the power wave, right? Remember this? Because you're at low distance. You can cover this, right? But because this forces you into this scenario. Look at that. Oh no! I'll say no! Put you back in the corner. You can set up stuff like that. Those little traps. Oh. With like um, power wave. Oh, they're forced to jump. That would have been a, a burn knuckle. But you get the point, right? Yeah, that forces that. Yeah, forces me off of the yeah. The Same with forward air. Because if I hit you with a forward air at ledge, I can go for. Especially if it was like Ridley or something. I would have covered the jump with my power wave. Or if you go went really low after this. Yeah, oh, I am so, I'm in like, fuck. Yeah, you're, you are actually screwed, right? Because if I did that again, if I did that again, well, you're kind of screwed. Because I just do this. Oh, good delay, though. Because I thought you were just going to hug the wall like this. Yeah. Yeah, that that actually destroys your recovery. I did, I did a reverse, I did a reverse stuff in the air, and like for like a week, and then like that was it. Yeah, it's and good. Like, I don't know why. You can just do this. I don't know why. Well, so, uh, yeah, I thought I did a different like stuff. You, you can do what? I've been experimenting off level, 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 and that's not like possible, but uh -huh. if you make them, if you if you try and do them off level, then their mind is gonna be thinking about the ledge. Like I'll beat them the ledge though, and then I'll do the you'll be carrying. I'll just stay in here and do this, and they'll die, because they didn't think about it. They, they were, like, too pressured. Yeah, exactly. From the, from the, from the no, that's fine, that's fine. Yes, boys, that is it for this session. It's been a long one. I'll give it to you. It's been great. No, for sticking it out, yeah. <laughs> I know there's a lot of information I could have gave you, especially, like, um some crucial ones, but... There was just not enough time, dude. Especially because I was dividing it between you two in a group format. And I have not done this in a while, by the way. So excuse, like, any sort of, like, hiccups.
Because I'm just used to just doing 1v1 sessions, you know. You know the vibes. <laughs> but yeah, definitely look into the, like, um, in the upcoming weeks when I start sending you some, like, sending the VODs, of course, right? So you understand, like, what you did wrong. Actually, hmm. I might just do a best of three. I'll do a best of three real quick with um you two. So I have like a fresh mindset of what you play like before and after the session. Okay. Yeah, so you use so I can see like what tools you use. So I'll start with you now. Let's go. I think I have enough space in there. Yeah. Alright, good luck, have fun! Oh. I'm dead. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Like, I held my ground, focused on just, like, keeping you there in the corner. 
That's what you should do with Terry. Just like literally just hold your ground, wait. That's what I want you to do. Like I was trying to emulate okay. your play style, what you want to do. Like yeah, put myself I'm at that range. Yeah. 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 So I do that so you can recognize, okay, this is what I should be playing like. Alrighty. Now this is the fun part of the matchup. The waves. This is the match of nutrition right here, ladies and gentlemen. Who will bite first? The, the wave master right here, baby. Jump in. We're living at this percent, that's crazy. Mm -mm. No, sir. Good luck. Now your whole play style should change once you have the I should have just backed off. Yeah, that's what I want to see you doing. Like holding the ground with those power waves. Shadow! Yeah. Oh, you're still here. Did you hear what I said? <laughs> I don't know, man. Every time you, like, seem so silent. I'm like, mm, I don't know if I, if I hit something or <laughs> he's, like, contemplating his whole reality or, like, what's up? <laughs>
Yeah, those key aspects should be a part of your play, like forcing those scenarios, especially when you get gold as well. Like anti airing no power defense. Nice. Damage. Hold on, I'm getting farmed. Wait, what what's going on? No. Oh nice bait. But it's not good enough. I should just power wave. Power wave! No. I'm the airwave master. Oh! Ah, oh, I should have been smart with that. <laughs> I had something cooking. Just didn't believe. No! I have go! <laughs> Man, I've been chucking fireballs like this for days! Oof, I will wave. Uh-oh. Ah! This one is dead. Let me just get off the ledge like this. Nice, good, good scouting. Rising tackle. GG's. <laughs> The Power Wave Mix. But yeah, you, you guys can see like those aspects, right, of what you want to go for. So when I send this video on my YouTube channel, I want you guys to like dissect it and just like um apply it. See why I did those options. If you have any questions about that, just ask me as well. Don't worry about like booking a session or anything like that. Just ask me. I'm very open about it. And yeah, um, thank you for joining me. It was a pleasure like meeting you guys, getting to experience like um, you know, the inner workings of Terry. Yeah, that was and like seeing these different concepts from you guys. So thank you. Yeah, no different concepts. <laughs> Exactly, the waves, the power waves. <laughs> the, the double, no, the triple down tilts. Yo, boys, we're cooking today. Triple down tilts down flat. Yeah, baby. <laughs> exactly, write that down, write it down. <laughs> That's really funny. I appreciate it, thank you very much. Yeah, no worries, dude. For sure. Hey. I might do the uh, solo session. It's on like, like a 30 minute one, but I might do those. Oh yeah, yeah, the counseling that would be fine. Yeah, that should be boring. So. Cool, appreciate it. Thank you. No worries, dudes. Thank you for joining me. Thank you. All right, take care. Yeah. I'll send it. Uh, oh, wait, wait, wait. Before you leave, before you leave, mm -hmm. I should say that I will send you guys like um your write ups probably next week. Most like most likely yeah. probably before Friday. Unless I'm, like, really busy. Because I have, like, other write-ups to do from other people. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Uh, are you, did you say uh, the mod should be available? Yeah, it should be after I'm, like, basically done uploading it. But it's going to be three hours, dude. So it will take no, a while. I know, I, 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 no, I know. I will watch it, though. <laughs> hey, I'll send you the links. I'll send you the links if you want to watch it back. Appreciate it. All right. No problem. All right. Take care. See you.